Hello YouTube. Today, uh, my good old dandy Samsung fridge here uh, is having problems getting cold. The fridge will get to, you know, cold enough temperatures, but the freezer will never go below 25 degrees when it should be getting to zero. So naturally, the first thing I did was check to see uh, the Freon levels. You gotta install one of these valves here, you know, because the systems are always sealed in the factory. They pretty much charge them up and then just clamp the hoses shut. So you're gonna need a you're gonna need some uh, some equipment, you know. Um, you buy one of these valves online. What they do is they just you clamp them on, and then they uh, come with uh, this little piece here screwed on top. And uh, I don't know where it went, but it's got like a little needle that you stick on top of the the valve itself, and then you screw this in to pierce a hole into the, the free online or you know yeah the free online so then you can plug this in and recharge it with the correct uh, refrigerant which for this one's R134A if you look uh, you'll see that my compressor is running at negative pressures but when I'm reading online it should be between 0 and 3 and obviously you know there's a leak somewhere but that will be a question for another day today we're just trying to show you how to recharge your uh, your refrigerant. So for me, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little shot in and then see where it ends up. Right off the bat, it's still below zero. You can hear the compressor running hard. So I'm gonna give it a little more. I wanted to at least, I mean, I wish there was some uh, guides online. Nobody's very clear. Some people say to keep it between zero and three. Other people say to keep it between three and seven psi. I think three is gonna be a magic number today. If we can get it to three, I'll keep it at three. Well, looks like. Look at that. It's still going below zero. This is like the fifth time I've given it a storage like this. It was definitely low. Well, we're below zero again, so a little more. It's nice like cold, but they're not like freezing, you know? Like they're just barely colder than everything else. Obviously the hot side's hot. The cold side could honestly be colder. Back to zero. Again, I wanna keep I want it to get to between I wanted to stay at three, honestly. This must have been my goal. And, um, you know, got to keep adding to it, keep an eye on the lines, see where the pressure ends up going to. If it goes back down, put a little more in. Don't overcharge it, though. That's what I'm saying. For me, three, I think, is going to be the most amount I do because I don't want it to have too much. I mean, uh, some people, that might be too much, but, um, People are saying between 0 and 3, and other people are saying between 3 and 7. I think 3 is going to be the magic number for me. Yeah, I guess again we're at 1 psi. Fan is obviously working, very important to check. Got to clean a little bit the evaporator over there. So the condenser, not the evaporator, but uh, very important to make sure that you know that's working and everything. I already I had to take off all my shelves and the freezers and make sure the fans were working behind them, and they were. Looks like I am staying at one. All right. Well, I hope this helped somebody. If you're in a, if you're a refrigerant guy, feel free to uh, bash my tips here, comment with any opinions you might have. I'm not a master or professional at this. I know some people who do commercial fridges, but they definitely run at different pressures than these uh, residential fridges do. But yeah, if you got any uh, 
any opinions or this helped you out just give me a like a thumbs up thumbs down subscribe comment share your thoughts thanks for watching